Hey guys, what's up? Jersh here. All right, I'm out trying some melee detecting. It's a nice day out and the ground is not frozen, so I'm pretty happy. I'm at a site that I was at um, a few years ago with my Fisher CZ5 and um, I came here last year too with the Pro just to uh, fool around and uh, I'm gonna try it again. I found a old um, large scent over by that big tree right behind me. You'll see it right there. And uh, right in this spot, used to be an old home so i'm going to show you this is the best coin that i've got out of here and i wasn't doing youtube when i found it so i'm just going to show you it anyways and uh my heart dropped when i found it so i didn't find it today i'm just going to show you what i did find here so it's a dutch coin it's huge 75 percent silver so i did find this in this location so i'm going to come back and come with my uh, Equinox, I'm gonna go really slow and try to uh, find some more. So, if I don't find anything, it's just fun getting out. So, let's get to dig in and see what we can find. I got my first little target here, and uh, <clears throat> I got myself a penny. It's in 1940s. I don't know what 40s it is, but it has the uh, the Bart Simpson hanger going on. It's being pretty hacked up by something. So, that's pretty freaking cool, man. So, not bad. Old coins in here, 1940s, so let's keep on going and find some more coins, maybe a relic or two. The place is pretty pretty dry. There's not much, um, I've covered a pretty good area and there's really not that much that's, um, that I'm hitting in the area right now, so I'm gonna move over here. But I just have to say that I found a coin and I found a weedy, 1940-something weedy, but I don't know if you can see it, but 47, I think. That one's going in the pocket. All right, let's go. Let's go get some more. Just pulled this out of the ground. Do not know what it is, but it appears to be made out of lead. It's quite heavy. Um, you can turn it here to thunk. How heavy that thing is. But could be a handle maybe to something, a pot, or I don't know. Maybe you might know, but that's pretty freaking heavy. So, pretty cool though. All right, back in the hole here, I just found a nickel. Um, it's not too, too old, it's 1961, but I just wanted to say that um, I like the designs of these nickels. I don't know, um, sometimes detectorists have their own personal preferences and that and I just I go for designs I like the designs of the coins and that you don't see them very often so I like the uh, the flat edges there on it so that's pretty cool <sighs> not many other coins here but I just like getting out and hunting it's just fun to do who cares if you find all the good stuff or the bad stuff you just sometimes you just like to get out on a day like this there's no wind I'm right by the lake it's not even cold the ground isn't frozen so I'm in heaven. A little bit of heaven right now. I think we should go back digging. Behind me is the lake. Okay, this road has been here since the 1800s. I'm on the property, behind me is woods. So you have to think when you're starting out, or even if you're experienced, that this property could be linked back to the 1800s. And uh, these trees weren't here before. They're probably seven years old, I'm guessing. So there could be no dump back here. There could be anything back here. So if you ever get the chance, go into a wooded area on a property that's old because you just never know what could have been there 100 years ago. So I'm going to go in here, try it. Might not get anything. Might get something good. Might get a dump, a bottle dump or something, not a dump. But um, I'm going to try it. We'll see. Okay, I'll show you out here. I don't know if you can see it the greatest, but just right on the surface, basically. So this is what I'm talking about. I found a spoon bowl. So, you just never know what you're going to find. And uh, one thing I want to show you, I'm going to turn it around, give me a few seconds. Um, another tip for you, um, just what, I, what to look for as well. So that's pretty cool. I got a spoon bowl. Um, it's probably plated or it's, I don't know what type of material it is. It's pretty light. So, out in the woods, well, wooded area, but I'll show you the, chip, the tip there. All right, my little tip for you is when you see trees, see how all these roots here are exposed you go to places that you'll see that the dirt and the grass is up to here 
and it's mounted down. There is one over there. I'll show you after if I have time. But when you're looking, look at all the trees and you see the roots. So the roots there are starting to come up. The roots here. So you know none of this has been filled. It's all original. So that's what you want to look for as well. All right, so I just got myself another piece of a spoon. It's not the one, it's not the other end to the one that I found earlier, but this goes to show there's still stuff out here. And uh, I just found a whole bunch of iron and glass and everything too. So I'm gonna keep going. This is pretty cool. First time being out in the spot, so it should be exciting. Let's get back to it. Okay, so I got a pretty cool signal. It's probably a 21, 22 signal, and I think it's part of a buckle, but it's pretty cool looking. It was plated, but it's got some cool little design. I don't know how old it is, but it's still pretty cool to find it here. Um, I don't see any markings or anything down inside, but we'll take it home and clean it up. That's pretty cool. Stuff like that is pretty cool to find. And uh, I'm just right by the road, so on the east side of here, so I'm going to keep on going. So behind me, I came over to the park side, and... Um, on the interactive maps that I looked at a while ago, down this fence line here, you'll see all the way down here, um, there used to be three buildings that were located here and on this property here. Now I do have permission to go on this property. I might jump over here after. Um, the wooded area is right behind this little wooded area here that I was in. So who knows what we can find here. Last year I found some older pennies and stuff like that. Some spoons. So try my luck here for a little bit. You never know, right? It's all about trying. Let's get to it. Okay. I got a really sweet signal. It sounded really good. Started digging, and it just kept on going forever. And I got that out of the ground. So I don't know if that could be a lawnmower blade or what it could be. But that is what I dug out of a hole that was only four inches and by four inches so who knows I don't know I just don't know all right right beside me you can see the main road um, where I was before was way over there so I decided to uh, come along this little tree line here and uh, I'm glad I did because I found a 1939 penny I found a King George the sixth penny and right in the same hole look at that look at that 1935 penny or nickel sorry so that is wicked so you just never know what you're going to uh, find always look for tree lines and if there used to be a building here too so you just never know so look at that see if I can get right in the, the light for you look at that beautiful condition that is a beauty. I'm going to keep going. I still got more. So that's awesome. I'm happy. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Let's keep going. We got a pretty bang signal down in the hole. Um, it was just right on the side here. I haven't found one in a while. And, uh, Got myself a little cross on the back of it. St. Christopher, St. Joseph. Um, that is awesome. I haven't found one of these in a long time. So that's pretty freaking cool. Right on. Gotta put my light on because it's getting dark, but. Not too far down, I got myself a quarter, I threw it back in a hole just to reenact it for you, pulled it out. It's uh, just see the date on it, you probably can't see that well because of the flash, there you go. But it's washed, but it's 1919, so that was pretty wicked. Got my first silver of the day. Not bad at all. All right, I'm done melee teching for today. I decided to come out to the field and uh, 
to sit here for a minute because I just want to talk about one little thing and that's about everyone's finds and going out and having fun. Even if your finds aren't the greatest finds, post them. Show people what you find. It's not how good things are. It's just about the hobby, getting out, enjoying stuff like this. After a long day, you know, you can, let's if I can get it on camera, look up at the moon and uh, just love the hobby. I love doing it. I love making videos. I love the comments. I love the support. And this is just great. I don't know how much longer I can get out for. The next couple of days is supposed to be nice and hopefully I can get out. So with that being said, just go out and have some fun and just love the hobby. You know, you can go out with people or you can go solo. It doesn't matter. Um, just enjoy it. Go out and get the treasures, all the relics, the coins, the gold, the silver. Just be kind to everyone. Be respectful. And uh, have some fun. That's all that matters. Thank you for watching. You all have a good day, good night, good morning, wherever you are watching this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Till next time, guys. Keep living the dirt life. Church out.